After winning his first two contests, Renner stretched his unbeaten streak to 154 matches. He would then face Kagiura Kokuro, the latest talent that Japan have found in their quest to break Renner's stranglehold on the sport. His diminutive stature and his style of judo proved tricky for Renner in their previous match at the Brasilia Grand Slam. In 10 years, nobody has beaten him. In 12 years, nobody has scored on him. Could Kagiura succeed where all those before him have failed? Wow, golden score, 25 seconds in. And Teddy Renner, this is the third golden score for him. He has got a mountain to climb, he really has. And Kagura, now then, oh, he's gone over. Teddy Renner gets countered. That Uchimata Sakeshi has broken the 154 match unbeaten record. And Teddy Renner, look at that, how he goes back to the middle. He attacks fully with the Uchimata there. Kagura, who was moving all the time, just sidesteps it, uses the Tewaza to take him onto his back, and he gets the Wazari. That Wazari has created history. Nobody has even scored on him for 12 years. And now, wow, he gets thrown or countered. He fully commits and he knew, and you could see it all day, that he was struggling with his timing and the timing wasn't quite there, the condition wasn't quite there. And in the end, Kagura manages to take him onto his side and to defeat the legend of Teddy Renner. Teddy Renner, absolutely the greatest without a shadow of a doubt. But credit to Kagura, he manages to do it. And the great Teddy Renner takes it like a true champion. And he will go away now and he will prepare for the Olympic Games that is coming up. So that's it. History has been made. Finally, René has been beaten. But in defeat, he showed his class as a champion. Now his real challenge begins, to come back stronger than before. <laughs>